Hello friends, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching this video. So the most important news if you are looking in the last 48 hours is the move or was the move made by OPEC and uh, the headline you can clearly see just made the Fed's job more complicated. Now there are multifaceted impact which one gonna see uh, because of this oil price uh, you know cut. Now beg your pardon this uh, oil production cut and it is uh, 1.16 million, mil million barrel per day of production now understand one thing this will impact currency this will impact uh, you know uh, the crude prices and you will see uh, gains for some section but broadly losses for others and uh, this but this move also has a geopolitical ramification which uh, i'm not going to explain i mean uh, because i'm majorly focused on uh, uh, stock market action and stock trends rather focusing on uh, geopolitical issues uh, beyond a certain point obviously if it is important we have to discuss but yes last time when we have seen this uh, production cut i think in uh, october 2022 uh the brent crude went up to 90 dollars and then we have also seen uh, uh that uh, the strategic reserves of us uh, has been flown into the market and whether it will happen this time or not and then you will see us and europe uh, you know they are going to made a cap of 70 dollars now this cap of 60 70 dollars uh, will work or not it's going to be a big question mark so and the reason for this i mean if you go through the press release from different sections or from different uh, news portals is recession okay so the reason they have given the opec countries that because of recession we are doing this thing or we are taking this thing now on one side inflation is going higher another side if you're talking about recession and you know over a period of time things will normalize but if you are looking at the short term time frame you will see huge amount of volatility across uh, sectors across sectors across i mean uh, maybe dollar will start falling down but at the same time you will see the entire market will also uh, crash so that's an another impact so in the short term many things will happen but there is one section uh, which is gaining and i will show it to you but before that let's go and uh, check out the i think uh, the most important thing to uh, look at over here will be uh, the w WTI crude so if you are looking at uh, the WTI crude futures I mean it has gained substantially it has literally gained at 25 26 percent in a matter of last two weeks and uh, we are talking about a commodity we are not at all talking about any stock uh, I mean uh, if a commodity moves 25 26 percent it will have a deep big impact and uh, because it is very near to 83.22 so if uh, wti crude futures started trading above 83.22 or more then a target for 93 will also open up so in the short term you will see huge amount of volatility so what i was saying uh, about the sector and this is the energy sector and you can clearly see a list of stocks which has performed quite well i mean you name it klx energy Ovinity INC, Nine Energy Services, Vital Energy, Petro, Pro Petro Holding, Valco Energy, Transocean, Salon Petroleum. I mean, there is a list of companies uh, and they have literally gained and gained a lot. So this is one sector which is going to uh, make some good trading gains, if not for the long term, at least in the short term. So let us analyze one or two charts and let us see what is happening over here. And then uh, we are going to discuss about the... Uh, I mean a uh, couple of charts and uh, this is what one should look at if you want to make some trading bets I mean this sector is uh, going to do some uh, big price action on the upside if you are looking at the short term so this is the nine energy service chart I'm just going through some of the charts I'm not uh, you know giving you any trading idea over here if you want to do something uh, do your own analysis so for nine energy services if the stock continues to sustain above uh, 4.9 or more then uh, the price action will happen towards yeah we are 23 in between uh, 23 and uh, 27 or 26 or 27 dollars so this is uh, one chart and then uh, let's see uh, marathon oil uh, i mean i'll go through the known names 
I mean in terms of trading or uh, so let us see what the chart of marathon oil is telling you yeah we are so marathon oil um, I mean they have made huge amount of cash so it's been trading within a range for the last uh, one one and a half or two years and you can clearly see the price action so as far as marathon oil is concerned yeah we are so this is the range and you can clearly see that after testing the lower end of the range which is uh, 20 and a half it is now moving towards 33 dollar so you can clearly see some uh, good trading bounce back let me check one or two more um, uh, VOC okay just one or two more so you can clearly see some good price action I mean trading price action yeah you can clearly see a uh, trading jump and uh, it has just this particular stock has just crossed uh, its uh, near term resistance which is 8.86 or 8.9 let's say and if the stock continues to sustain above 8.9 or more it will move towards 9.9 .9 or 10 dollars and it will swing up to 13 dollars so the energy sectors or energy stocks they are going to make some good trading moves in the short term but overall this news does have a uh, multi-phase impact uh, not only in uh, I mean commodity in currency in stock market but also have an impact uh, as far as uh, geopolitical and geoeconomic equations are concerned so this is the end of the video thanks for watching